Some of those experiences out there when I was on the court, I felt like I was being controlled by something else. I felt like I was having an out-of-body experience. I still have to pinch myself to really believe it. Wait a minute, who's this kid? Already I mean, cut twice this season. Wait, not drafted? Wait, nobody thought he could play. Sleeping on a teammate's couch. Jeremy Lin came from nothing to greatness. I don't even think you have to be a sports yeah. fan to hear about this story. Yeah. You will. Lin Sanity takes New York by storm. I didn't want to play the piano. Like every year, the recital would come around and I'd be pretty much playing the same song. And they're just like, this is not working. All he does is play basketball, so. I just let him play basketball. And he's just this little kid. He just scored the basketball so well. In high school, Jeremy was the best player here. And Lynn is going to have to launch a 25-footer. And it in! Did he call that? But yet, colleges weren't clamoring for him. He just didn't fit the mold. People look at basketball players in terms of race. College, it just got crazy. Can you even open your eyes? Can you see the scoreboard? I was really interested in seeing if a team would take the plunge and take this Asian American player. If I don't get drafted here, I probably won't get drafted. Landry Fields. He puts the order of God first, family second, basketball third. It's more of God is in all those things. He was standing at the door, and he had tears in his eyes because the pressure was really getting to him. And I remember he turned to me and he says, I don't know if I can keep doing this. You don't get better if you win all the time. You look at yourself more when you lose. Lynn has a chance to make history as the first Asian American NBA player in the modern era. This transcends sports. That's all I dream about is hitting the game winner and then doing some clothes and then walking off. Puts it up. Bang! Jeremy Lynn from downtown! You know, that's like all I did growing up. I wanted to know what that felt like.